Yeah, Robbie Mueller, I learned so much from this man about filmmaking, but about a lot of things in life in general, and about light, and about recording things, and about fi capturing things in the moment, and about trusting instincts. And uh, Robbie and I had a really wonderful way of working, um, no, sh no storyboard, um, a shot list only if really necessary for ourselves. Um, I still don't like making a shot list each day when I'm working. Uh, it, Robbie's idea was very, is about instincts and trusting your instinct and your intuition. And Robbie would always say things like, oh, of course we can plan everything in advance, and then when we go to that location, it's a different time of day, the light is different, the clouds are different, so why, are, why would we cling to the idea we had previously? We must always be on our feet, think on your feet. And we did a lot of interesting things while scouting for this film together, which was we'd find the most dramatic, incredibly beautiful landscape you could imagine, and then we would turn our backs on it and film the other way. And this is something Robbie was like, look how magnificent that is. We've seen it in a fucking calendar. Let's look over there. It's a small tree and a rock. Very sad and emotional, you know? <laughs> so we would film that instead. And this is just one example of, of a kind of way that Robbie thinks. And I learned so much from him thinking that way. So don't look for the obvious. Always keep your eyes open. Keep thinking on your feet. A film is... Shooting a film is a, pr is a process, and you don't know, you can't control everything in the process, so be open. Another thing Robbie taught me was like, uh, okay, you're shooting a scene, and, the scene, and suddenly it, we're outside and it starts raining, and most crews is, would say, well, this scene doesn't take place in the rain, so let's pack up and we'll have to stop for today. And Robbie would be, huh, wonder what it'd be like if the scene's in the rain. Maybe it's much better. Or, well, Robbie, we already shot some of it. Okay, well, think of some dialogue where they can say it's about to rain. Or, you know, <laughs> like keep thinking, keep thinking. Don't be set in your, in your script. It's something that came to, um, from Nick Ray who said, uh, if you're just gonna shoot the script, then why bother? And this is something like Robbie also instilled in me. And Robbie Mueller is a kind of brilliant uh, man who's a very rebellious teenager in part of his spirit, and yet an incredibly technically gifted person. So he, I'm always astounded by directors of photography in a way because they have what Gary Farmer would say, oh, they got one f each foot in a different canoe. And that is like to say that Robbie Mueller has an incredible scientific technical mind and yet a completely aesthetic mind. And this is true of Fred Elms to another very strange man. But these people, you know, they do have each foot in a different canoe and me, I'm not like that. I'm, all, I'm in one canoe, you know? So I'm really amazed by these kind of people. But Robbie Mueller, he's like my, my family, my brother, my teacher. Someone, I don't know, I wouldn't even be here without Robbie Mueller. I don't know how to explain it, but the guy is so important to me and in my life and taught me so many things. Why he even was shooting films with me, I don't know why, you know, but I tricked him into it. I gave him some really good weed. <laughs>